Hey guys, Chris Dick here. Uh, this will be part uh, eight. Uh, it's a very short lesson and it's just very simply about uh, how to change column names and uh, alter your tables in uh, MS SQL Server Management Studio. Uh, but more specifically, this is about using TSQL. Um, and uh, we're gonna be uh, working on something because what I noticed while I was doing some work here is I named a column wrong. This one's the, the date of birth I typed in as data of birth, right? Now it's a pretty easy mistake to fix. Uh, but if I'm on the, in the design view, that's pretty simple. I can just do simply like this and, and then save. Okay. Now, what I thought to myself here is, well, how would I do that pro programmatically? It does come up from time to time that you want to do that. I'm going to save it back to the way it was. Okay. So, uh, so I've re renamed it twice in the designer. There's a few ways to do this now. Um, if I refresh this, we'll just make sure that we've got the correct name. I can slowly click on that and change the name in here. Okay. So I can change it there. We'll change it back. All right, I can also right click and do rename. Same sort of thing, I can type over it there. Now, again, what I wanted to do here is I thought to myself, hey, what if I had to do this programmatically? All right, so in order to do this, we have to do some TSQL. So we do uh, this formula here, SP rename, okay? And what we have to do is uh, put in the uh, table that we want to change and then the name of the column. And we called it data of birth, not data of data, data of birth, okay? And I'm going to rename it as, uh, as date of birth, like that, okay? And then it is, the last parameter is that it is a column. Okay, we'll take away this, and there we have it. All right. So as you can see, it says data of birth here. I want it to be date of birth. If I execute that, it's going to tell me that caution, changing any part of an object name could break scripts and store procedures. Well, we kind of know that we're, that we're right in what we're saying here, so we're all right. If I go back over here, refresh, I now see date of birth. Okay. And that's it for this uh, very quick lesson. Uh, remember to like and share and I'll get you in uh, part nine. Talk to you soon, guys.